Sue. I actually know why you're happy today. For, for, for real, though, because finally, somebody... Yep. Guy's way ahead of me, but you know what I'm gonna say. Who was treasonous to this country? He's actually in jail. Paul Manafort. <laughs> The law, a judge said they should lock him up, lock him up. <laughs> Even worse news, Kim Kardashian is not taking his calls. So he, <laughs> how's he gonna get a pardon? It just... <laughs> Trump said about Manafort, he had nothing to do with the campaign. Nothing to do with the campaign? <laughs> yeah, exactly, you personally brought him in. You gave him the title campaign chairman. Yeah, that's just, that's just something we told him. It, <laughs> it's like when they told Elvis he had a black belt. It wasn't really true. <laughs> So much happened, this, so much legal stuff happened this week. Finally, after 18 months of working on this, the, the Justice Department's Inspector General released his report on the FBI's actions in the 2016 election. Trump said he wanted to read the whole thing before commenting, I'm joking, of course. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's 500 pages. He gets bored halfway through a fortune cookie. <laughs> like he's gonna read the report. <laughs> the upshot of it is that the FBI helped Trump, as we all knew. And Trump made such a big deal out of Hillary's emails that Comey didn't want anyone to think that the FBI was helping Hillary and was on her side. So they rat-fucked her campaign. <laughs> You know, it's like when the ref needs to show that he's fair. He shoots the hometown quarterback in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Cohen, did you hear this? Trump's fixer, lawyer, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Lapdog. He's, they're saying, I don't know if this is true, they're saying he's ready to cooperate with prosecutors. I hope that makes Trump nervous. I mean, Michael Cohen has given more money to porn stars than Charlie Sheen. <laughs> But I, <laughs> but I don't think it makes Trump nervous. And <laughs> this Michael Cohen took out a restraining order on Michael Avenetti, yeah. <laughs> right, wanting to stop appearing on television. The complaint, I love this, says Avenetti uh, is creating a circus with his unquest unquestion unquenchable <laughs> thirst for publicity. <laughs> Michael, you do know you work for Donald Trump, don't you? <laughs> but, uh, and also, listen to this, New York's Attorney General has filed a lawsuit uh, trying to shut down Trump's family's phony charity <laughs> for... <laughs> what they say is persistent illegal conduct. It was basically a slush fund, which they used as an arm of the campaign. They were funneling money to some of the least deserving charities in the world. Doctors Without Bordeaux. <laughs> That's not a real charity. <laughs> St. Bart's Children's Hospital. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So with all these scandals, you know whose poll numbers are sinking like a rock? Not Donald Trump's. His are up. People who are sinking are anyone in the Republican Party who crosses Donald Trump. Remember Mark Sanford from South Carolina? The guy who was hiking the Appalachian Trail? <laughs> was really having an affair with an Argentinian woman. He was hiking the Appalachian Trail, all right. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, he votes with Trump 73% of the time. It said a few critical things out. He didn't win his primary because he had... He survived. He was re-elected after having sex with the Argentinian woman. <laughs> but Trump bangs porn stars right here in the USA, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One reason Trump's numbers are up, of course, he has a new friend. <laughs> Kim, Kim Jong-un. I know, it seems like years ago, it was only the beginning of this week, they had their big summit. Trump cannot stop talking about what a great guy Kim is. He's a great <laughs> negotiator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we found that out. Uh, he's got a great personality. <laughs> it, 
I, he says the, he's, he's a funny guy. He said he's a funny. He's a funny guy. Kim is a funny. guy. You know, he does this one bit. You get a <laughs> so funny, where he will throw three generations of your family in jail if you're <laughs> listening to a radio that's not on the government station. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's great stuff. And then he segs right into his bit about how many North Koreans does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. We have no electricity. I mean, <laughs> he is a funny, funny guy. He's a very funny guy. But... <laughs> so Donald Trump is over there and trying to convince Kim to whatever they were trying to do. <laughs> Come into the modern world. So he shows him, I couldn't make this up, a fake movie trailer that <laughs> Trump put together. It looks like Kim put it together. Trump, did you see this? Show a few seconds of this. You have to see it to believe it. A new world can begin today. One of friendship, respect, and goodwill. Be part of that world. It, it, <laughs> it, it looks like something Scientology <laughs> would make if they were merging with Amway. I, I, I... And, and Trump kept telling me, he's got the great beaches there. You know, we could do hotels, yes, because so many people in that country have money to burn, so they would get a condo on the beach, of course. Uh, and, you know, resort hotels in North Korea are a little different. You, uh... <laughs> you call down to room service, they ask if you have any food. Uh, so... Uh... So... And, of course, all the critics are saying, and they're right, that, you know, nothing really came of this. It was two people who lie about everything who signed a deal that was specific about nothing. I would say it was a feckless stunt. I, I would... <laughs> oh, but... but while he was in Singapore, the president passed a milestone. He turned 72 years old. That... Oh, well, there you go. Trump people are welcome. <laughs> Insane, but welcome. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they throw him a big party in the hotel suite, and then the hookers peed happy birthday on the bed. <laughs> <laughs>